What's going on everybody? I am back with another underdog MLB player props video. This one going to be breaking it down. Company guys, five picks that you win some money over here on underdog as always. If you haven't checked out underdog, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players, pitch count, strikeouts, fantasy points, runs, hits, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to $100 on your first deposit today. Again, that is code KJK DFS, go to lock that in, get that free money offer, and start winning some money over here on Underdog, guys. And if you are getting very serious, I do offer premium content packages. I will be dropping Underdog packages here very, very shortly. Uh, we're going to be swapping some of this stuff around as far as the sites that I am offering premium content for. Underdog is going to be up here. Do offer prize picks currently if you want to check that out, but uh, we'll be working on getting that Underdog up there for you guys as well very, very shortly, uh, before the 1st of July, that's for sure, probably before then. So check that out if you're interested. And if you enjoyed the content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. So, let's talk about it. We'll go game by game as we always do. Like I said, got five picks for you. And the first game that I want to talk about is going to be the Boston Red Sox taking on the Detroit Tigers. And this is a game that I am very, very high on. Going to have lots of picks from it. And uh, I think for good reason because... The Boston Red Sox get to take on Alex Fado tonight in Boston. Looking at his numbers across the board, he has not been good. Over a 40 innings pitch sample size. Only features only a 19.3% K rate overall. 36% hard contact rate with a 44.4% fly ball rate. Only a 32.3% ground ball rate. He gives up a 430 slugging to right-handed bats with a 38.6% hard contact rate. And a 474 slugging to lefties with a 33.8% hard contact rate. Also really bad in the ground ball fly ball stuff against those lefty bats. And his K rate drops down from a 25.3% K rate against righties to a 13.1% K rate against lefties. So really, really bad uh, against both sides of the plate. But specifically against those lefties is where he really, really struggles. So for me, certainly going to be targeting uh, Alex Fado tonight with some Red Sox bats. And it all starts at the top of this lineup. Mr. Jaron Duran, I like the over 0.5 runs for him here in the leadoff spot. Once again, a lefty bat. Has a ton of speed. Should be able to get on base pretty easily here uh, against the likes of Fideo, like I, or Alex Fideo, like I said, with his struggles against uh, left-handed hitting. And then you look at Duran's numbers. He's featuring a 410 Wobo with a 230 ISO and 22 at-bats against right-handed pitching. So he has been fantastic since getting called up. Uh, a guy that also... Features some really elite speed. Uh, you know, last time he was called up, as far as Jaron Duran, in 2021, he recorded a sprint speed of 29.3 feet per second in the fourth percentile at the major league level. Last time he was up, there's a clip of him, you know, tagging from second and scoring on a fly ball to center field. And when you compare that 29.3 feet per second to the current uh, top stack cast guys in the league with a large enough sample size to be listed, Duran's not listed, but 29.3 feet per second. I mean, that's going to land him right in this route of Mr. Jazz Chisholm and, and Mike Trout. So that's the top 20 in the league. 1920 uh, is what he's even with here. So he's got a ton of speed. Uh, should get on base. Should be able to get hit in here. So I certainly do like the over here as far as his line is concerned. 29.3. To put that in comparison, the top sprint speed is 30.4 from Trey Turner. So, I mean, this guy has wheels. Uh, so certainly something that we could be taking advantage of. I like the over 0 0.5 runs. I do expect him to get on base. I do expect him to get hit in. The Red Sox having a massive 5.5 implied run total. Um, that's going to be pick number one in the video. But it doesn't stop there. Because I'm going to be loading up on these Red Sox bats, man. Uh, like I said. If anything, I think uh, Fado was getting a little bit lucky early on in some of his performances. He had allowed 200 runs or less in quite a few games here. And I think he was just getting some very good BABIP. I mean, it stands for bat uh, batting average on balls in play. But you look at his underlying metrics like we just discussed. He was getting hit hard uh, the entire time he's been up. I think he's been getting away with a lot. And I think he gets punished tonight by this Red Sox squad. Uh, you can see, you know, 1-1-1, one, 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 two earned runs. But he took on Oakland, Pittsburgh, Tampa Bay, Cleveland, Cleveland, Minnesota, Pittsburgh, Chicago, White Sox. And then last time, finally getting blown up by the White Sox for seven earned runs. Kind of think we see more of that same thing happen tonight with this Red Sox squad. I would not be surprised in the least to see them put up just a lot of runs so uh, long story short, we're going to be loading up on some Red Sox bats. It all starts with Rafael Devers in the two spot. He matches right-handed pitching. Once again, a left-handed bat. We just talked about Fado's struggles against lefties. Devers features a 300 ISO with a 420 Woba off left. I'm sorry, off right-handed pitching. So I'm definitely going to be targeting him. I like the over 1.5 bases for Rafael Devers as pick number two on the video here. 
Um, kind of self-explanatory. We talked about Fado's struggles against lefties. He only strikes him out at a 13.1% clip because of a 474 slugging. Uh, good luck against Devers. So pick number two is going to be Devers. But it doesn't stop there because I'm going to be going to the next guy in the lineup uh, right behind Devers, and that's J.D. Martinez. Uh, he also features very elite numbers against right-handed pitching. You're looking at his numbers on the season. He features a 200 ISO with a 390 Woba off right-handed pitching. And while Fado does have a bit of a higher strikeout rate against those righties, he still gives up a bunch of hard contact, a bunch of slugging, as we had mentioned. So I, I like J.D. to do some damage here today as well. Pick number three, we're going to go in with the over 1.5 total basis for J.D. Martinez. And pick number four, guess what? We're not stopping. We're loading up on the Red Sox. I'm going to be going with Xander Bogarts in the cleanup spot, man. Uh, I think these guys just have a huge night at the plate. So I will be rounding uh, out this all my picks in the Red Sox with Xander Bogarts as well. And we'll go in with the over 1.5 bases for Xander Bogarts. Once again, I think these guys just absolutely rake off Fado tonight. They get him out of this ball game early. Then they get the face of the Detroit Tigers bullpen. You look at the Detroit Tigers bullpen as far as how they fare, kind of middle of the pack um, on the season. So average bullpen, not terrible, not good. But when you get a starting pitcher out of the game early, you get to face some of the worst arms in that bullpen, no matter what or how good the bullpen is. There's always a few guys in there that they have to throw out when they're, you know, they don't have a chance at winning the game. They need a guy to eat some innings. Kind of think that's the scenario the Troy's put in tonight. So I'm going to be loading up on the Red Sox bats tonight for sure. First four picks, we're going with all Sox bats. And to round things out with pick number five, we're going to be heading on down to the LA Angels, taking on the Kansas City Royals. And the LA Angels get to hit in LA tonight. 83 degrees, six mile hour, one to left center against Chris Bubik, who is not good. Looking at his numbers across the board, he's even worse than Fado with a 4.83 Sierra. He gives up a 419 slugging to righties, a, a 623 slugging to lefties. Uh, but we will be targeting a right handed bat. In Mr. Mike Trout, he's been heating up in a major way as of late after kind of going on a bit of a struggle there. Uh, you look at Mike Trout over these last few games. He has gone deep in one, two, three straight, one, two, and one hit in each of those games respectively. And I don't expect his hot streak to end here tonight uh, because Chris Bubik is not good. The Kansas City Royals bullpen is not good. Looking at my bullpen data sheet as far as how Kansas City ranks, they are dead last in the league with a 4.66 XFIP, so their bullpen's really bad. Bubik is not good. Mike Trout hits in the two spot of this Angels lineup that has a 5.28 implied run total. Expect him to have a very good night at the dish tonight. So for pick number five, we will be rocking with the Mike Trout bases over here on underdog. Like the over 1.5 bases for Mike Trout. Kind of self-explanatory. Bubik's number's not good. Trout's heating up. Lastly, you look at his numbers against lefties on the season. Absolutely phenomenal. Just mashing left-handed pitching. He features a 330 ISO with a 480 Woba. No surprises, Mike Trout. But um, in the past, has been a guy that has succeeded a little bit more against right-handed pitching. Clearly, that has changed. Mashing left-handed pitching has taken a big step forward uh, with that. And it's Mike Trout, to be honest. He's elite. So uh, pick number five. We're going with the over 1.5 total bases for Mike Trout. And that is my five picks to get you winning some money over here on Underdog tonight, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. You can mix and match these. You can go for the big one. That'll 20x over here on Underdog if you get all five. Obviously, uh, the more picks that you have, the more risk, but the higher payout. So if you want to mix and match to mitigate your risk a little bit, you can do that. If you want to go for the big one on the 20x, you could certainly do that. Up to you, uh, but those are my five picks to get you winning some money. Wish you all the best of luck tonight. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, check them out. If you haven't signed up for Underdog, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to $100 on your first deposit today. Good luck on your props picks tonight, and we will see you in the next one.